nut. The squirrel is in the nut. Over. What nut? Your nut. <laughs> that was stupid. They work. We got these for, we got four of them for two reasons. We're gonna use them for whenever we're backing up. Whenever he's backing up the trailer, I can use that versus having to use a phone. And we're gonna give his parents Stop! some. Right. <laughs> right, right. Just like that. We're gonna give his parents some too so they don't come ambling around our trailer all the time. Because his dad will do that. Yeah, not making eye contact, but still like right there. It's like, just come in at this point. We say that because he's already done that. Yeah. So, walkie talkies it is. Right now we are trying to sort through more stuff and Life. there's not enough room. We'll figure it out. Just hungry. Just need to keep reducing. Should we eat You're now? Always, one of those forever hungries. And then, I think I'm gonna eat now. Sure. Are good, they're chasing a squirrel. I don't know why I brought these. You don't know why you brought these? <laughs> no. Just give them away. Anybody want some competition heels? Let me see if I can take them off and show you. I wore them for two shows. They're real nice. They're real nice. If anybody <laughs> that is watching this does shows, bodybuilding shows, you will know what these are for. And if you want them, email me and I will send them to you for free as long as you pay for shipping. I just want them gone. Do you see what size they are? I don't know what size they are. I'm normally like an eight or eight and a half. Yeah, how big is your foot? I'm like an eight or eight and a half and these are too small for my feet, so that'll help you. The good you. measurement is how big are you whenever you wear Converse? They're probably like eights, I would say. Seven and a half, eight. Oh, friends. We got some room in here. It's empty, yes. So for rears. My closet. So three days into the RV life, we had a nice big storm last night, which I feel like is reoccurring because whenever we moved into our rental house, do you remember it was like the first three days? Yep. We had that terrible storm. We had multiple actually. And a leak. There you go. Hmm. How about that? Just like a bright window. Right. <laughs> Here's the family. So we think we're gonna get flooded in. Actually is now inside because of the thunder and the lightning and the rain. Juliet cars still waiting yeah. out. They have nowhere to go because Highway 71, parts of it at least, are underwater. Well, guess what happened last night? We had a storm and Matt found a leak. So right here, um, this is right where the pop out comes in. It's right underneath here. There's a bit of a leak and it's not like bad, right? No, no, it's like a Small uh, what do you think it is? All right, I'm gonna look it up, see if it's like a recurring issue with the model. Uh, if not, I'll go up there and take a look at it. If I can't figure anything out, which is probably what's gonna happen, uh, I'll give him a call and see if, uh, see if I can't figure something out. I don't know if that's a normal thing with pop-outs. Like, it seems like, how would it not leak with all of the moving parts in here? But that's all we know of so far. That's, that's the update for now. As you can see, I've got some groceries down below. This guy and I just went to the grocery store and I know we're documenting all of this, like, first night in the RV, oh, you know, we're gonna document the first bathroom trip in the RV. What? Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but this is our first grocery really? haul in the RV. So uh, we're just gonna show you guys what we eat. For anybody new to the channel, we are vegan. So yeah, we're gonna show you guys what we're gonna eat and hopefully, we're gonna have room for all of this in the RV. Yeah, we have some places to put it, but uh, I wanted other stuff to go there. We'll figure it out. Real quick, I can show you guys what we're working with as far as the pantry goes. We're here. Yeah, we can move this we're around. We're here. Fridge. And freezer. So I think we can make it work, but we're gonna show you guys what we got. You have more coffee? Un momento coffee. All right, well, we obviously got coffee. Yes. Uh, and actually, there's several things I don't know what you're doing. But we have chocolate chips, coconut extract, vanilla extract as well. So what are you making with this? These, uh, this I just eat because they like chocolate. <laughs> I'll know. put it in my protein sludge, and these I'll put in my green smoothies. Possibly bake with them. We're on a little, I don't know, Cajun cake right now, mm -hmm. sort of. I mean, it's really mild Cajun food, but yeah, it's uh, red beans and rice and uh, the dirty rice, and then, yes. That goes with this yeah, very thanks. beautifully. These are delicious, you guys. If you ever have a chance to try them, highly recommend. Of course, it's made out of plants, so that is neat. The macros 
nutrition information on them is great. So if you are interested in that, it's right there. These are good. These taste like those buy drinks, but it's just like a little all natural flavor enhancer. I don't know how that got in our this heart. Is, this is weird. What the heck? What is that? I don't know. What is that? I mean, I guess I'll, I'll take it. You drink beer? Peanut butter. Pam. Not my cousin. <laughs> like, like anybody knows that. Obviously, yep. I'm having hot dogs. Uh, we have some vegan butter, some vegan meat products. Are you supposed to say vegan in front of everything? Nah, I don't. Okay, I've given up on that. It's just, you guys know everything is going to be plant-based. So I got some black bean burger patties. These meatloafs are pretty delicious. A lot of people get freaked out because they're like, what are you eating? It's not meat. Like, what is it? It's just plants, dude. Like, it's plants. Um, so if you're interested in any of these products, just Google the ingredients and they're actually pretty simple. Delicious. It's just, it's amazing what they can do with plants nowadays like crazy and the reason why they look like meat you know meat products itself is because people like the familiarity familiarity yeah all that so they just like being able to see okay i can still have a hot dog i can still have meatloaf you know i can take this to my family and not feel judged uh, i'm sure that's just one reason i'm sure there's other reasons too. we still get judged we still get judged <laughs> but we also uh, just moving on I have a vegan assortment as well <laughs> these are all vegan I don't yeah. I think. I'm sure there's like some degree of animal product in plastic. It's in everything, guys. It's crazy. Back back but, to the groceries. That's grocery. Beyond Meat Grilled Strips. Cashew milk for my coffee. Delicious. Great source of calcium. Rice because I'm lazy and this is very easy. That's me. That's me again. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Zucchini. <laughs> apples. Potatoes. Hot dog buns. These are delicious little sweet peppers. I eat these just raw. And some sweet, sweet wheat bread. And these little magic pops. I haven't had these in a hot minute, but they're really, really good. Like little crunchy rice cakes. And I put peanut butter on them. Yeah, I turned it off because of... Oh. Dang, look at my arm right there. Looks like I have a muscle. It's like, whoa. Gone. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Shit. Oh. Shit. Apple down. Savvy. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the grocery haul. Nice and simple for y'all. Um, like I said, this is the first one in the RV, so I'm sure we'll figure out a way to make it all fit. If not, we'll just eat what doesn't fit. We're gonna make food. Thank you for tuning in, and make sure you hit that thumbs up. Leave some comments below if any of these foods piqued your interest or if that's uh, something that you usually get in the grocery store. Let us know in the comments below, and we will see you guys on the next video. Next video. I don't know when that is. Either. I don't know what day it is. Yeah.